what's up guys and welcome to Ivar's Fly Workshop. Today we will be tying um, a leech pattern um, which I prefer to call the, the Cleveland Chominsky leech. You'll see why in a, in a bit but you can tie this uh, with or without a bead, weighted or unweighted, it just depend, it depends on uh, what you are, where you are fishing, if you are fishing it in a river or a, or a still water, it all matter matters. Um, as a hook, we are using RX uh, NS118, which, is, which are the classic streamers, and I'm using a hook size number 6 for this. I will be, yeah, I will 6 or 8 for this thing. Uh, and for thread, we are using a classic waxed... Uh, 8-0 sample fly and uh, yeah you have to remember to like share and subscribe to the channel guys you know what to do and uh, the video uh, in the video description you will find the uh, of course find the uh, find the pattern of the fly and you can donate to the channel if you like. But first of all, we will just uh, place this. Uh, it's a non lead wire from Semperfly, actually, uh, which is, I think, uh, 0 0.99 mil. And we wrap that around the shank, like, like so. And here it is. It's a um, called Heavy Alloy. It's a, it's, yeah, it's a lead free product. So it should be. Good to go in the let <coughs> let free states, which are not only let. Actually, Iceland has not passed a ban on let, but I think it it may be passed in the very future. Uh, to attach the let or the non let uh, wire on the uh, on the hook shank, so it's going to be like uh, firm. Um, I use my fingernails for it. You could use like a clamp or, or something. Uh, this is like this uh, type of wire is not as uh, soft as the as like a normal lead would be, but you have to twist it like uh, away from each other to try to like tighten it on the hook. You have to leave like a uh, like we do like a space behind the hook eye. That is a necessary thing to do while tying this fly. And uh, I prefer to use like a little bit of a super glue on this, but you can see uh, how, how it sticks to. Uh, to bend down, I'm going to show you what I do. Just to bend down, I'm using the scissors or any kind of hard material. You can like, uh, if, if you feel it sticking out too much, uh, it may also break your thread. It may cut the thread. So it's an important thing to, um, yeah. Getting down as po as as uh, possible. So we wrap the uh, thread around the hook shank and all the way to the to the back where I will be forming the tail of the fly. And then we will be wrapping it back and uh, secure the um, secure the um, lead wrap. Uh, one idea would be to use like a bead on it and a little bit thin, thinner wire, press it into the bead, super glue that together. It's, you know, you can tie, tie it in all sort of versions if you like. Actually, this, uh, <coughs> this uh, leeches here, I'm, I'm tying them for, for a friend of mine in Canada. Who placed an order? Not I'm. It's not like that. I'm selling a bunch of flies. Uh, not at all. But um, but I'm tying for for this guy in Canada. I know he's a fan of the channel. But we are going to apply the super glue on this uh, on the uh, wraps. And as you see, the super glue is like a little bit thick. And I use toothpick to um, to spread it around. You can get like different uh, thickness of uh, or density of the uh, glue, but uh, as you saw, <laughs> this tube was almost like empty. It's been standing there for quite a while, and I had no idea if there was something left in it or not. But if we cover cover the lead or the wire with this, it's not gonna 
go anywhere. It's gonna be stuck there for eternity, kind of. So, um, the next step will be to form a tail of the fly. And since, like those leeches, like you have in uh, no, like non-Icelandic countries, I'm not actually familiar that uh, we have leeches here in Iceland. I don't know if we have. I, I think not. Never seen one, at least. Maybe in rare cases there are. But uh, we are using a black marble for the tail of this leech. So we rip that off the off the feather stem and uh, get the um, short uh, shorter feathers out. So we are having this bulk here, and uh, to form it and make it even, I'm using my fingers. Yeah, this is what sucks when you glue something, but happens. It happens. But to re reinforce the body of the fly, it has to be glued down. So I'm gonna place like a chunk of this uh, black marble for the um, uh, as the tail of the fly or the leads. And uh, then I'm gonna wrap it forward a little bit and then we're going to trim away this thing so it's not gonna be sticking in the glue. And uh, Instead of using some materials to create the body, I actually, on this uh, uh, fly, I prefer to use genial. But uh, before we place a genial on this, uh, I'm gonna use like two strands, cut them in half of this uh, UV um, crystal flash to get like a little flash in the tail of the fly, gives it a little life. Then we anchor that down with our thread here, like so, tight wraps, and fold it over like so. So um, when we do and tie in a flash like in this, uh, with this method, it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to just stick there on and it's going to be no problem. And uh, next step will be the uh, channel I spoke about. You can use, you know, you could technically use dubbing if you would like, just black dubbing. But I'm using the channel, I find it the fastest and the easiest way to make the body. And we do like a couple of wraps with the channel, maybe one, two, well, a couple, maybe the third one, just depends on how, how large the fly is. And then we place another piece of wing down on it. So um, we anchor this in here, secure it with our thread and snip away the end of that. And uh, then we are taking another marble. And in this case, I'm gonna use the uh, middle of the feather there. And I'm gonna tie that in as a one wing and then we can use these sides, uh, fibers of it uh, for the rest. And you can, if you want, take like the very shortest uh, or the thinnest part of the feather. You can rip that. Some tires like that, some tires don't. I don't know if it really matters when it comes to what the fish is thinking. I don't know, but uh, some tires prefer that. So we get like a clean, yeah, attach that down, stuck. Get a clean cut on the, on the feather, then I'm going to Take the chenil again, our good friend chenil. It's a good, actually, good material. And this roll of chenil, I had it since I was a kid. This is like really old, actually. And then we form the middle part of the body, and we secure that with tight thread wraps uh, before we snap away the end. And uh, then again, I'm doing the same thing. Uh, take the uh, marble, you'll rip them off the uh, off the feather stem, and uh, create like a yeah, good chunk. It is like one feather that goes for it for this fly, 
and to measure the length of this uh, this wing, this has like a triple wing kind of, you use it or measure it like this. So it's like going in a in like a pattern. And if you're having any issues with the marble working with it, I would just recommend to wet it a little bit with your saliva. That works totally fine to just keep it in place. And then, of course, it's very much alive in the water, as you guys know, yeah, when you are uh, fishing with it. And it ha there is no harm done when uh, when you fish it uh, and when it gets wet. Uh, well, even while you're tying it, doesn't doesn't matter at all. So the last piece of the chenil, I'm placing there, and then we are forming a hat on the fly, and and uh, and that. Uh, should be it. The reason I call it the Cleveland Chominsky leads that is um, we'll see it just in a bit. But if we zoom in here, you have to build up like a little, you know, kind of like a platform for the rest of the channel. Uh, and when I wrapped it, wrapped it forward, I kind of like here figured out we'll have a, like a little bit busy head that's something which we do not want but this is only the second leech i tie for a while so you have to forgive me on that but um, it'll do it it's gonna, definitely gonna catch fish so i'm ripping the rest of the uh, of the um, fibers off this uh, black marble feather and then we are going to place that as a wing on the fly. And you merge the wing just as your other one, like so or about. And uh, I, as I said to you guys, this for like uh, leech patterns are not common in Iceland, but I decided to do a video on this because uh, I'm tying tying a little order for a friend of mine in Canada. So um, we'll place it down like this. But I fished leech patterns here in Iceland, both black and brown uh, colored. And um, they actually work for the, for the trout. So there is something like in the mind of the trout, this agent uh, thousands of years, ten thousand, tens of thousands of years in its instinct when it sees a pattern like this. It will go after it, even though it's not in its natural habitat area. And uh, it's a good fly. So we'll have to form a hat here. As you see, it's a little bit busy, but it slides, you know, it's like not a disaster. Then we'll just whip finish. Make a whip finish on it like a couple of knots, and I'm gonna place on it. Um, place on it like a some UV glue. Here's the fly with a beat, and this is I'm gonna tell you why we can call it a Cleveland Chominsky fly. We have news when broadcast here in Iceland. And uh, if you're going to a fishing competition, like some guys did in the, in the US, they added lead and some sinks uh, or sinkers or uh, into the stomach of the fish they caught. And I found this quite funny, actually, to cheat on the competition. I do not recommend to cheat if you're in any competition. That's not a fair game. But... Uh, I will just uh, respect the uh, fishing rules at any time. It's a, like I say, it's a gentleman's sport, fly fishing. And uh, you should always just follow the rules. If, they, if, if, there is a, if, it, if there are some flies that are banned, just don't use them. It's uh, as simple as that is. But uh, I found it quite funny to call it uh, the Cleveland Chominsky leads because uh, those guys <laughs> waited the fishes just uh, to win the competition. You can add this sinker if you like, but you'll probably need like another rod to cast the fly. And as you said, 
as that said, uh, solar spawn cure for the hat. We will fry that with our um, with our uh, UV torch. And as before, as I've said before, just remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I just want to say thanks, guys, for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And in the video description, you can find the information how to support the channel if you like. But until next time, have a nice day and goodbye.